Tommy, yes, but we've got sausage and chips here. Great. Hey, I look. There's some for you. Great. There's some for me. Right. Hey, hey Paul, but how come we've only got one sausage? We couldn't afford two sausages, could we? We have to share this one 50 50. 50 50. Right. About there. Yep. Right. There you are. There's your bit. Thank you. There's my bit. Hey, just a minute. There's a job here could be answer to all our problems. Is there really? Yeah. What we've got to do is go down for an interview this afternoon. By tomorrow, we could be fully fed dog, dog vendors. Very good. We could eat as many sausages as we want. Yes. Yeah. Barry, just a minute. Could you pass me the salt, please? The salt? Oh, please, certainly. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Paul, could you pass me the vinegar? Vinegar, of course yeah. I can. Thank you. Hey, would you stop messing about? That's mine. I've not messed about. I want my sausage. No, that's my sausage. That's my sausage. Dear, oh dear. Now look what you've done. Suppose we better go and get that job now, then. Yeah, I mean, it's not the sort of thing we've done before, is it? No. I mean, have we had any experience of food handling, hygiene and preparation? No. Or dealing with the general public in a retail environment? No, we haven't. Or working in a high-pressure, rapid-yield, multifaceted industry? Definitely not. Well, what have we got? We've got the white coat. Here you are. Yeah, but what about my cold? That'll clear up as soon as you get out in the fresh air. Come on. It's a bit about that sausage and chips, you know, because I've famished. Yes. Well, we could nip down the cafe and get some lunch. Oh. But don't forget, you've got to be nice and smart. I'll do that, pussy, then. Who? In the cafe. Not in the cafe. You've got to be smart for the interview. Oh, smart for the interview. Yeah. Right. Hey, that moustache needs a bit of a trim. Do you think so? Get in that chair and sit down. Right. Hey, don't spoil me profile. Nope. Yeah. Hey, did you know you got spit in? No. You have now. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Show back inside, please. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid we're not. Don't tell me you're not open. No. no. I insist that you cut my hair. I've got a very important interview this afternoon, and I want to set a good example. So get it cut. Oh, certainly, sir. Hey. <coughs> Fancy City's chances for the cup? No, I support Rovers. Oh. Beat the dogs lately. What? Oh! Oh, sir, don't move violently like that, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Has sir had his holidays yet? No, no, I'm far too busy at work. Oh, good game? Yes, yeah, sure, we're expanding rapidly. In fact, we're taking on new people all the time. Oh, excuse me, sir. Would you mind bending your head forward a little bit? Oh, you're under the back now, dear. No, I've dropped my comb down your shirt. That's it. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, has Sir ever thought of wearing a hairpiece? Whatever for? I'm not bald. No. Uh, how about a hat? Oh, I never wear them. Oh, I think Sir's face would suit a hat. How about a trilby? No, I don't like them. A deer stalker or a bowler? A balaclava? I don't like hats. Oh. Ah, phew! Oh, what was that? Oh. I, you just got a bit of a sneeze there, sir. I think I'm allergic to hair. Well, you shouldn't be a hairdresser then, should you? No. We shouldn't, should we, Paul? No. I think that'll do now, sir. Oh, well, how much do I owe you? Uh, have that on the house, sir. Oh, that's very good of you. Uh, have you got a mirror? Oh, yes. I've got no! Oh, you ought to be more careful. You know, that's going to mean bad luck for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That was a close shave, wasn't it? Come on, let's go and get some lunch. Will you stop complaining? Yeah, but I thought we were going to the cafe for lunch. Yeah, but this is cheaper, isn't it? Oh. Hey, Paul, look at that. I hate that. What? All the labels are upside down. Shall we straighten them out? OK. Excuse me, young man. I have a complaint. Oh, is that why you're walking funny? No, it's about a trifle I bought here. Oh, yes. But to start off with, it was rather small. Just a mere trifle. <laughs> <laughs> and then I noticed that the sponge was soggy. Oh, that's awful. Terrible. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I don't know. It's nothing to do with us, really, is it? Of oh. course it is. Now, what do you think should be done about it? Well, I think you should be given a dozen free boxes as compensation. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. OK. I 
And she seems such a nice old lady. Mm. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for today's expert demonstrators of microglee. How's the old clapping? I think they're expecting us to demonstrate this washing powder. That's ridiculous. We don't know anything about washing powder. No. Hey, there's a script here. We could read from that. Okay, then. Oh, dear, oh, dear. New micro glee. Happy with your wash? Does your old style powder dissolve fatty stains at 40 degrees? What wash day problem could be worse than ground in dirt? Ground in mud. Excuse me, sir. Could we borrow your jacket? Your jacket? Barry, take the man's jacket, sir. Right, now put it on the floor. On the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would be so kind all to jump up and down on the jacket. Don't worry, sir. With new micro clean, we'll soon get it clean. We will prove to you that in clinical tests, new improved micro clean beats big box brand X. Now, for purposes of the demonstration, we tear the jacket in half. Eh? Yeah. To me. To me. <laughs> Now we put one half of the jacket into brand X. And we put the other half of the jacket into new micro glee. Not much in there. The test begins. And now for the result of the test. As you see, with big box brand X, everything looks nice and clean, but deep down, it is not. It is not. Barry, the micro clean. As you see, with micro clean, everything comes out superbly clean. Next show, four o'clock. Park's just up here. We've got plenty of time. Great. I can't wait. Excuse me. Would you mind looking after this for me for a minute? Hey. Hey, it's funny you took one look at me and he knew. He knew what? That I used to sell ice cream. Did you? Oh, yes. I know everything there is to know about selling ice creams from a cart like this. Oh. This is the famous GSX-3 model. Beautifully balanced it is. Lovely machine. Oh, oh, thank goodness, thank goodness, I found you. You must help me. My little doggy Robert, he's gone missing. And the one thing that will tempt him back is a large knickerbocker tutti frutti glory with chopped nuts. Did you have one? Well, I don't know, you see. We're not really ice cream. Oh, please, please, look, I'm desperate. She's desperate. Well, I suppose the man told us to look after it, didn't he? And he wouldn't want to lose a sale. Okay, then. Oh, dear.